Hi guys, welcome back to AG Automotive. Um, I'm just in the Toyota CHR, as you can see. When I had this car last time, I literally had it for five minutes to do a quick review inside. So I wanted to do a more in-depth one now that I've got it for a bit longer. Uh, so first of all, obviously we'll start with, there's the, for the audio, uh, it's all touch screen now. Uh, underneath you've obviously got the vents um, and under that you've got the air conditioning controls digital which are pretty cool so you can go up in the fan speed and you can go up and down or you can go up and down on that one or you can put it on dual and have it the same so that's pretty cool I always love digital stuff like that and then you've got obviously on this side the ventilation uh, Demister front and rear demisters, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, so pretty much with the radio, we've got uh, there's a USB slot in here. If I can open it up, you can see in there. Um, you've also got the, the tuner, phone, audio selection, which I'm in now, so you can go to Bluetooth, AM, FM, Pandora. You've also got a CD. Uh, just in here, a normal CD, which is good to see. A lot of cars now don't have that. Um, over this side, obviously, your power, your reject, your apps. So you can go into apps and have different stuff. And we'll just go back to audio there. You've also got home, so it can take you home. And you can tell it what to do by this button here, which I won't because it'll ask me what to do and... Um, you've also got the map mapping card. So anyway, back to the dash. Uh, obviously, you've got the parking, um, the lane assistance, things like that that are turned on. So I just want to go a bit more in-depth in the menu of this car because it's quite interesting. So here we've got litres per 100. Obviously, we're just sitting at the moment. We're not d doing anything. Um, 9.6 litres, depending on how you drive it, really. Um, so we'll go down, that's instant litres per 100. Um, you've got an eco indicator, which is like a leaf. I don't know if, yeah, there you can see it there. So when I'm moving along, it'll, when I'm like moving without touching the accelerator very much, it lights up green. And as you can see, it wasn't lit up green because we actually weren't going anywhere. Uh, let's go down again. So we've got there's your kilometres and your range at the moment um, to empty. Obviously, depending on how you drive it, it's around town or if it's out in the suburbs, out in the sticks, uh, you'll probably get more if you go on the open open road. Uh, so we'll go down again. Here we have the all drive control. Now this is pretty cool. So this is like a little gyro thing. So what this does, it shows you your braking, accelerating, and cornering. So obviously, if you um, brake too hard, the little ball, you can see a little red ball in the middle, it'll actually go forwards. If you turn to the left, the ball will go to the right. If you turn to the right, the ball will go to the left. And obviously, if you accelerate, the ball will go backwards. Now, those four little bars you can see next to the wheels, it actually tells you which wheels are currently driving the car. So when you're from a standstill, obviously, they'll all be there. don't know if I can just... I don't know if you can see that, the blue. And um, so that's that's what happens there. Um, I'll just go back where I was. The other thing about this car, cool, is it's got a reverse camera, which is really, really cool. So anyway, we're back to the dashboard. So let's go through it a bit more. So that, I think that's a pretty cool sort of look, actually. Pretty cool thing. So you sort of know what wheels are actually driving the car. All right, that's driver assist. So you can set it until rest. Like if you're going for a, you know, a, to Queensland, you're driving 12, 13 hours. You can rest every two hours. You can set it um, to um, what you like. Um, and then we're back to that. And then we go, let's go over again. Now we've got this which is lane departure assist is on, but the steering is assist is inactive. It says LDA unavailable below 50K. So you have to do 50Ks in order to get it 
So that's what it looks like there. Now, what happens is if I go out of my lane, it'll know, and if I go out of over the right lane, it'll uh, flash on the right, the little lane will flash, and also it'll beep at me. And if I keep going over the lane, it'll actually um, steer the car, um, which is quite interesting. It'll steer the car itself back into the lane, only a little bit, not it won't take over. Um, so let's have a look. That's messages in case you get any messages. Now here, here, this is how we set all this up. So we've got steering assist. I can turn that on, turn that off, the sensitivity a, a lot or not as much. There's your alerts and your other sensitivity. So if I want to turn that steering assist on, it is good. I will uh, we'll just turn that on there. So then we've got, this is pre-collision system. Now this is on, so pretty much the, it will break if you're going to hit the car in front. Then you've got blind spot monitor. Uh, this is on, it, what it does, if you can see in the mirror there, it will actually light up orange if there's something next to you. Um, that's always a good thing to have. Let's go, and then you've got a parking one, so there's your parking assist, so that'll pretty much help you to park, it'll beep, 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 um, and I'll actually just show you, I'll drive over near something and you can see it working, so... So that's pretty much, I'm going to hit it. So we'll just go back from where we are. All right, so. Um, all right, so then we get out of that one. We can go back to where we were. So pretty much that's where we are. That's the um, interesting things about this, which is pretty cool. Some of the, the stuff on this dash is pretty awesome. Um, I really sort of like that. Um, how you how you've got all these things and you can um yeah you can turn them on turn them off um it's pretty cool so um yeah so there's um there's some interesting things about this car that uh, you probably wouldn't know um i don't think i've missed anything on there let's just Go back to, and yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. So um, but yeah, look, we've got the controls on here for volume. Uh, you've got audio controls as your phone hang up. You've got that audio button similar to up on the dash there, where you can ask the car and say, you know, call this person. There's your trip, your back button. This was what I was using for, if you can see. Um, when I hit the top or bottom, that's what was going on there. Um, you've also got this button here, which is that on, that uh, lane departure assist. And then you've also got the um, parking beeps. You've got your cruise control down here. Um, on the door, we've got your mirrors, your power windows, power mirrors. And you've also got this cool button here, which I've seen in a lot of these Japanese cars. You can actually move, make the mirror, uh, when you lock the car, the mirror actually folds in. So yeah, so um, down here we've obviously got the um, gear selector, you've got PRND, and then you can move it over to manual. This has a park brake, um, it's also got a hold button. So you hold, and it's actually pretty cool because your brake lights stay on, uh, which I'm pretty, I, I think it's a really good thing. The, it, the, it automatically engages the park brake for you. See how that's lit up now. If I put it into drive, it'll go. If I put it back into park, take my foot off the brake, it'll engage. So yeah, it's a pretty nifty li little car, this one. It's got a, a lot of um, interesting features. Um, you come over here, the lights, you've actually got auto lights, um, your parkers and your lights on, obviously you've got, um, yeah, so you can 
move that down. Another feature that this car has, which is interesting, it's got auto high beam. So when you push the button, it says to activate switch headlights to high beam, which I've done. So what it does is it'll, um, yeah, it'll actually put the high beam on if it doesn't sense anyone there. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.